How does it feel when you see a completely different UI under Jenkins with a revolutionary pipeline view? Welcome to Tech Primers. In this particular video, we are going to see what is Blue Ocean inside Jenkins. Let's get started. So Blue Ocean is nothing but a plugin which Jenkins has created with lots of users in mind. So if you see a traditional Jenkins UI, this is how it looks like, right? And with the revolutionary Jenkins pipeline, this is how the stages look like in the Jenkins UI. This is nothing but Jenkins 2.0+. So this is how a Jenkins UI looks like. But what Jenkins has now done is they have rethink their whole UI okay, to make it better for the pipelines. So in order to make your pipelines have better view, Jenkins has created this blue ocean theme okay, to make the pipeline better. Right? So what is this Jenkins blue ocean? Right? So blue ocean is nothing but a theme or a plugin which Jenkins has created. So if you see here, this is how it looks like. Jenkins has created a plugin so that you can install it whenever you need it. So if you are using the pipelines for automating your continuous delivery and the continuous deployment, then you can go to Blue Ocean. It, it has very good UI. And then if you see here, right, it, uh, it was showing different ways the plugin can be seen. So it is very intuitive actually. So if you have multiple parallel pipelines, so for example, these are parallel pipelines. So when you have parallel pipelines right now in the Jenkins, right, right now in the Jenkins, it doesn't show that uh, parallelly. However, in blue ocean, it is going to show you parallelly, right? So it is nothing but a theme. So, or a plugin, basically it's a plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the blue ocean plugin. So I'm going to go to manage Jenkins. And I will go to manage plugins so that I can see the plugins there. Right. So I go to available in the available window. I will be having the blue ocean. Right. And this is the plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this particular plugin and I'm going to say uh, download now and install after restart. And I'm going to just say restart when the installation is complete and no jobs are running. Right. So what is happening is in the background, this is going to download all the necessary plugins. So if you see here, there are so many dependent plugins, which blue ocean requests. So all these plugins are going to be downloaded and they are going to be installed this, but in this particular Jenkins instance, and the instance is going to be restarted, right? Meanwhile, we can see the documentation of what um, blue ocean says, right? So blue ocean, if you see continuous delivery for every team. So as you know, Jenkins is used for continuous delivery and the deployment and Blue Ocean is going to take that to a different level with lots of visualization changes down to the Jenkins, right? So why I am calling it as revolutionary or something like that is because the UI is so nice. So we are going to see that in few minutes once the plugins are installed and our Jenkins has got restarted. Meanwhile, um, these are the different options. So if you see here, there is a visual pipeline edit editor. You can edit the pipeline, you can add scripts, you can add the content to the pipeline there itself from the UI. You have pipeline visualizer, which is going to show the pipeline in whatever stage it is, right? Diagnosis, you can see the logs and stuff directly. Uh, GitHub and Git, yeah, by default, they already had these uh, integrations. Uh, personalization, obviously you can personalize your dashboard. So, so Blue Ocean creates something called a dashboard. So for example, this is the Blue Ocean dashboard, right? You can customize this dashboard. So in, initially Jenkins has its own dashboard. So this is how Blue Ocean shows up its dashboard. So you can have customized a dashboard. So that is that personalization. And of course it's hundred percentage open source, which is basically you can also contribute to blue ocean so every code which is there in the blue ocean plugin is out there in github so if you go to github of cloud bees so which is the company which maintains jenkins you can see the blue ocean is open sourced so the code is completely open sourced so you can even fix 
go and fix it so how to get started this is just the step of how to install blue ocean which have which we have already triggered right so let this download uh, get completed and then we'll come back i'll just fast forward it so that um, you can see the download installation getting completed All right yeah the installation is completed and if you notice here the jenkins is restarting now hopefully the installation was successful let's see after the restart and we can check the dashboard for the blue ocean so i'm going to the home screen and if you notice in the home screen i have a new option called open blue ocean right so previously i did not have this particular option so right now i have this particular option let me open the blue ocean ui so i'm just clicking on that blue ocean option so this should take me to the new ui so if you notice here this is the new ui so it's completely revolutionary it's completely different from how jenkins was till now so jenkins had that traditional dashboard ui and this is the new open ocean ui the blue ocean ui which is all open source right so let me go to the pipeline so that is where the real fun begins all the uh, normal job if you see this is a normal job so the jenkins example is a normal job if i see that particular job I, w I might not see any anything big so if you see here it's slightly changed the way it is showing is slightly different if you see this particular build failed so that is why it is showing in that particular color this is a successful build so it shows up in the green color so let's go to the plugin so that's, that's where the real fun begins the so plugin shows up in a different way so that is what i wanted to see mainly if i see if i go to the plugins build number seven if you notice here my plugin is showing up this way right so i had only three stages in the plugin uh, in the jenkins uh, pipeline so sorry it's a pi pipeline which i meant as plugin in the last few minutes so uh, in this particular uh, pipeline i had only three stages which are the major ones so i didn't have any um, parallel stage as such but if you have a parallel stage then you can see them in this particular place right and also if you notice here these are the different deployment steps which we did so as a part of the deployment stage right i did a maven deploy and it shows up that here by default so that way whatever you have done inside your script shows up here right there so if i click on the compile stage it should show the maven compile and the checkout right so since i clicked on the deployment stage it showed up that the maven deploy in the testing stage it should show maven test right i just ran some tests there so this is how you can directly use the stages so you don't have to go inside the console to see all the uh, logs and it and it doesn't show the logs intuitively right so now if you see in this particular open uh, the blue ocean uh, theme you can directly see the stage and their logs here directly you don't even have to go to the console log right and there are lots of changes here uh, to the uh, ui itself right so there are there is something called artifacts you can go to test directly uh, i think maybe this is a rerun or something so let's go to the maybe i think I'll, this is the old one yeah okay this is the back button oh no it is a build right okay yeah looks like the build number eight is running right so if you see here build number eight has started already and this is the pipeline okay yeah that it has started so that is just in nothing but the build now option so this is how the blue ocean theme has changed the jenkins uh how the jenkins was and now the jenkins is now so if you didn't like the blue ocean option right if you didn't like this particular theme you can immediately flip it using this particular option here so which means go to classic so if i click on that option it will take me to the classic ui so see here this is the classic ui which we had right so this is the option so if i want to open the blue ocean i can just click on the open blue ocean and i'll be just redirected to the blue ocean ui right and if i go to the build i can see what are the stages. so if you see here this particular stage is building right now so that is why it is showing this way and i can see the logs here getting tailed if i want to see the logs of the existing one i can just go and check it okay so this is what blue ocean is all about so that is what i wanted to cover as a part of this particular video so in the future videos i am trying to create a pipeline where i can even deploy uh, here the deployment stage is just maven deploy which puts our uh, jar into the artifact which is inside a maven repository but i want to show uh, deployment to the cloud machine
so i'm trying to uh, do that so i'm trying to see um, if i can get something in the google cloud platform so that i can show a full end to end deployment or end to end project creation committing it, in, it into github getting the build created and pushing it into the cloud uh, deployment right so that's what i'm trying um, to show so that is as an initial step i thought uh, this blue ocean is interesting and then i that's why i wanted to share it hope you guys uh, found it interesting um, that's it for this particular video if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much